Functional MRI can locate where in the brain there's more activity, but it's not so good at the when. There are a couple of reasons for that. One is that what fMRI measures is blood flow, and there's a few seconds lag between when neurons start working harder and the extra blood they need gets to them. The second reason is that the MRI machine takes its scans a couple of seconds apart, which led me to ask brain scanning guru Nancy Canwisher, are pictures taken every two or three seconds close enough to give you definition in a movie or are things happening in those two seconds that you need to, to okay. note in some cases? It's good enough for some things, but it's not good for other things. Uh. So for example, I study vision and vision happens within hundreds of milliseconds. If I flash up a brand new image, complicated real world scene you've never seen before, you've understood the gist of that scene in one fifth of a second. Mm. So that means that the neural events that make up your process of understanding that scene happen in the order of tens of milliseconds. And that we can't resolve with functional MRI. And that's a big bummer. Yeah. But that means that for that kind of question, we have to use other methods. So what do you do? Uh, you can use behavioral methods, just study how long it takes people to do things. You can use other methods that have very good time information, like good old fashioned scalp uh, electrodes. You glue electrodes on the scalp and measure the electrical activity. And that gives you very precise time information but lousy spatial information. Nice. So can you combine that with you the can. fMRI? You can. So right next door, we have an MEG machine, which is an even fancier one. It det detects magnetic uh, fields with very precise temporal information. And you can use that simultaneously with electrical um, recordings from scalp electrodes. So you have both magnetic and electrical, both with very good both timing on information. The scalp. Yep, both at the same time. Yeah. And then you can compare that in the same subject, you can then subsequently scan them. Not simultaneously, but you can scan them subsequently and put all that together to try to figure it out. But we still basically have very good time and lousy space, or very good space and lousy time. And so it's a bit of guesswork to try to patch them together. Right. <laughs>